hydration of cement. Generally, dry cement doesn't bind with fine and coarse aggregates. It acquires the adhesive property of the cement only when mixed with water. The chemical reactions that take place between cement and water are referred as hydration of cement. Generally, cement particle contains C4AF, C3A, C3S and C2S compounds. When these chemical compounds react with the water, the hydration of cement occurs. This is an important physical property of the cement to be considered while deciding the type of cement for the work. Let us have a microscopic analysis of the hydration process. Generally, cement particle is not spherical in shape but from the analysis, we can consider as spherical, this doesn't going to make much difference. When the water is added to the cement mixture, the hydration products such as tobamaride gel, calcium hydroxide and some minor compounds, slowly start depositing on the outer periphery of the nucleus of hydrated cement. Generally, this reaction proceeds slowly for 2 to 5 hours. This period is called induction or dormant period. As the hydration proceeds, the hydration product slowly started to deposit on the original cement grain, thereby, making the diffusion of water to unhydrated nucleus more and more difficult. This reduces the rate of hydration. The hydration products gradually fill the space originally occupied by water. Once, the entire water molecules are reacted, or, no unreacted cement left. The hydration of cement stops. Let us now have a look at the chemical reactions involved in the hydration of cement. The highlighted are the hydration products which are deposited on the cement grains. The product CSH's gel represents the calcium silicate hydrate also known as tobamarite gel which is the gel structure. Generally, the hydrated crystals are extremely small, fibrous, platy or tubular in shape. The CSH gel makes up 50 to 60 percentage of the volume of solids in a completely hydrated Portland cement paste and the calcium hydroxide crystals also known as portlandite consists of 20 to 25 percentage of the volume of solids. The remaining percentage is shared by other chemical compounds formed. This is how hydration of cement occurs when mixed with water. More details about the hydration of cement will be explained in the upcoming videos. Subscribe our channel for more civil engineering related videos.